What's up YouTube? This is Bobby Lee with a video on the S Pen and S Pen features. Alright, um, we'll just do a quick, you know, just a quick, you know, five to seven minute video on the S Pen and some of its beautiful, glorious features. You see the button there. There's uh, 1,024 different pressure, you know, sensitivity that uh, settings or whatever that, you know, for drawing or whatever. Um, you can barely see the ink, but one of the features is when you unlock with the S Pen, you get the ink effect on it. I'm sure you've seen that. But, you know, we'll go through the settings of the S Pen first. So let's find S Pen settings. Click that. All right. So we got dominant hand for right and left. You know I'm right-handed, so I use it for right-handed. You got a couple different sounds for when you put it in and pull it out. I don't know if you can hear that. That's sound one. Sound two. And sound three, I prefer sound two because I can hear it better. Um, open and pop up note. What that does right there is, is if you have your pen away and you are going and you pull it out, it will automatically bring up the S note feature, and you could and start writing and you know whatever from there. Uh, Cool thing, battery saver, it says disable pen detection when the pen is attached, can extend battery life. So I keep that on so it saves some battery life, you know, I haven't noticed a difference with it on or off, so I keep it on, um, checked. And then S Pen Keeper is really, really cool. That is for if you forget your S Pen on the table here and you go, you know, into the kitchen or living room, you know, your phone will start going off saying, hey, you forgot you know you forgot your pen which is really really cool like that a lot air view which is for when you're browsing in the internet you know then we're this I will get into the air view a little later in the thing I just wanted to point out the settings you know you got pointer you know the air view point pointer is shown on the screen information preview hover over it gives you a little information on what it is icon labels you know icon labels will be shown and then list scrolling is where you go. Hold it up or down at the bottom of the screen and it'll scroll for you. We'll get into that though. And then sound havoc feedback. And then quick command settings. Okay, now you can either get to quick command settings by going into settings and then S Pen. Or what I do is draw up, hold, hold the button down and then draw up from on the screen. And then it'll bring up quick command. And then just hit the little settings right there, and it'll bring you to here. Now, here is where you can add your own commands for whatever. And basically anything you want. Um, functions, applications, to open an application. You know, instead of finding the application, just swipe up real quick and make a queue for Quadrant. Watch, we'll go ahead and actually... Uh, We'll go ahead and actually make one for Quadrant real quick. Or, you know, any application real quick. We'll do... Uh, We'll do Amazon, right? And then we want it to be a a lowercase a done. All right. So now we want to open up Amazon real quick. We don't want to go hunting through. Just make a lowercase a, and it'll open up Amazon for us. There you go. You know that's gestures and quick commands, which is really cool. Another really cool feature is you could hold the button down again and make a sideways V and it will go back also to go back you can take and hold the button and just draw down this one's a little harder that's why I like to do the sideways V one but I don't know if you've seen it you just draw down and it brings up the little thing the back button icon and brings you back happens real quick um, another really cool thing 
Hold the button down, make an upside down V, and it will bring up menus. Awesome feature. In any application, it'll do that. It'll bring up the menu, any application um, that I know of, that I've tested with any application. And then, you know, you can just do the back, back, and you're good to go. Um, so, yeah. There's that. I am running MA7. Let me show you what software I'm running real quick. I am running Android 4.1.2. Don't know if you can see that. Android 4.1.2. Baseband MA7. Hardware L900.09. Okay, so... uh there's uh, the basic things with S Pen. Now we got Air View. So you see the folder I have. We'll hover over it and it gives you the preview. Whoops, turn the page. <laughs> it uh, give you the preview when you hover over the a folder with you know multiple apps in it. You know whatever it may be. Now also you could even just hold it slightly ever to the right of the screen to where you get the arrow and it will actually swipe the page for you as well now this will also work as a mouse basically it's just a mouse function um, it, you can scroll down with it you can scroll back up with it and then you got the uh, you know where you can hover over and it see I don't know if you can see that but it brings up multi window you know bookmarks so on and so forth forward backwards so it kind of just works as a uh, a mouse we'll just google anything and so you know you kind of just see how it works as a mouse um, on the internet another great feature is when you're in messaging Let's see if I have a message that would do it I don't think I do alright there we go yeah I do my, that's my balance to my uh, card. Oh, well, it's a prepaid card. It's what I use to buy apps. So, uh, here we go. You just hold over it, and it pops up the uh, air view and shows you a brief of the message. Awesome. Love that feature. Does the same when you're in email, but not Gmail. It doesn't do it with Gmail now. It only does it with the uh, stock email app. That one right there. For load, oh, I have sync disabled. Shoot, I should have checked that before I uh, started the video, right? Okay. So now let me sync this real quick. So when you hold over the email, let it finish. It'll give you a brief summary of what what the email is. Sorry for having that so close. Without touching it, you know, you could get that. Um, and the pictures, you know, anywhere it does it. I'll show you the pictures real quick and then we'll wrap it up. You know how you just hold over it and then if you have more than the six pictures or whatever and you hold it there, it'll rotate through all the pictures that you have in that album um, so yeah basically though back to the gestures swipe up and now I could like turn my Wi-Fi off so I'll do W O and ask me if I want to turn Wi-Fi off I don't want to so we won't do it I could go to to email somebody so I could go at C R I S T I N A it might not read my at, but it might have. It did. So, and then, it, you know, my wife's name, Christina. Another really cool thing is the S Pen learns your uh, handwriting. So, it learns your handwriting. So, if you got really sloppy handwriting, eventually the thing will be working perfect for you. I know you just seen how sloppy I just wrote Christina, um, and it got it. You know, and that was as sloppy as it could get. Probably unreadable. But, you know, the S Pen has learned, and the Galaxy Note 2 has learned my handwriting. 
But um, all right, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, if I left anything out, let me know in the comments. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down. If you like it, please subscribe. Um, if you want to see anything else, stay tuned. I'll be uh, putting more videos out. Thank you.